Hey guys and welcome back to another one of my deck building tutorials. Today we have Mega Skeptile along with Giratina EX. Some key elements to explain about this deck would include Mega Skeptile's ability to attach energies in a faster manner, along with dealing out a cool 100 damage for only 2 energies. Mega Skeptile's buddy Giratina EX is a great way to stop your opponent's Mega Vault Pokemon dead in its tracks with its Renegade Pulse ability. This allows it to where you prevent all effects of attacks including damage done to Giratina by your opponent's Mega Evolved Pokemon. So goodbye to your opponent trying to use side effects of an attack on you also. Giratina's attack Chaos Wheel basically shuts down your opponents from playing any tools, special energies, or stadium cards on their next turn while also dealing out a devastating 100 HP of damage. Comboed with his already OP ability and you're locking down a huge portion of your opponent's deck. The 4 energy cost for this attack may look scary, but with the new Double Dragon energies introduced in Running Skies, it makes this attack a breeze to accomplish. So to recap on these two, you have the ability to attack hard and fast with Mega Skeptile, while placing the energies on the Giratina while it is on the bench so when the time comes, you can send it out and dominate with it also. Lugia is thrown in there to become a powerhouse Pokemon if you need to deal out large amounts of damage quickly at the beginning of the game, a pretty self-explanatory Pokemon. Hoopa EX exists to play out its already insane ability, Bandit Ring, allowing us to search our deck for up to 3 Pokemon EX cards and placing them into our hand. Why even use Ultra Ball at this point when we can use this along with our 3 Shaman EXs and supporters for our drawing power? I'll take a moment to cycle through these cards for you guys to know what's in the deck, and then we'll jump into a ranked match to see what it's like in action. Alright, got ourselves a match against a psychic fighting deck. Tails, yo. Tails never fails. You screwed up already, bud. Alright. Crobat. Golbat. Alright, Skeptile. Nice, nice start. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Build up a couple cards so we can use Ultra Ball. So, here, what we're gonna do is throw on Spirit Link right away. We're gonna go ahead and throw on the grass. Let's get a couple grass out. Um, don't really need Mega at the moment, but the beautiful part of this is we can actually just use Ultra Ball. We could toss out uh, this Juniper and one grass to get out our Mega. Next turn we'll Mega, and then we'll be able to use the Mega Turbo to get out the grass energy we just threw away. So hopefully he can't do nothing too crazy, so let's take a look. Double Zubat. It's a shame these are going to be gone after rotation with the free rotation they have for their retreat cost. He sends out Lando. Alright, hits us for 30. Just a basic hammerhead. Good thing I didn't have any bench Pokemon because they would have taken... Uh, probably a hit if I would have had like a better card on the bench than this so let's go ahead let's mega him up we got a grass here we can use but let's just go ahead and use mega turbo obviously all right got the second one attached to him I forgot I had animations off I was like what's happening that's funny all right yeah I turned everything off card animations play tags I like all this stuff. It makes the game a lot cooler, in my opinion. Alright. So we got that. Let's go ahead 
Usually I would just say, you know, we would attack, but it's kind of trash and see if we can build up a bench. Alright, we got Shaman, got Ultra Ball. We'll throw away this, and we'll throw away this other for Giratina. Let's get out Giratina. We got the full art. Let's be sexy and get out the full art. There we go. Now we can apply the DC, uh, DDE, the Double Dragon. Go ahead and play Shaman, get his effect. Four more cards. We got Trainer's Mail. Okay, we got VS Seeker, Birch. We already got Birch in our hand, so let's just go with the VS Seeker. Did we throw away Lysander? We did, so that's good if he chooses to retreat later with Landris. Um, see, usually here I would maybe get out another Shaman, like toss up a VS Seeker and perhaps Birch or something for Shaman. But I think next turn I'm going to go ahead and play Hex. So I'm just going to leave the hand how it is. See, we would attach this to him. Yep. Attach it to him. Now, if he had damage, he would have been uh, healed. Enhance Hammer. Okay, he gets rid of the Double Dragon. He lasers me. And I'm sleeping. Wow. The double whammy. Alright, go bad for that little extra damage. Wow, amazing. I know we have switches in this deck. Acrobike. Oh, there's Skeptile there. Another gear team. Let's get out the Skeptile, throw him on the bench. Let's see what do we have here. Could. Kid Juniper. I think we're gonna we're gonna take a chance here and play Birch. Alright, we got heads, nice, seven cards. Alright, there's Lugia, there's a DDE, nice. Bicycle, let's see what we get. Uh, uh we'll get the hex. I'm a acro bike, by the way, if you wanna be super super serious about it. Um, let's see. Well, let's build. Let's build him back up. Let's do this. Get a couple cards. All right, another VS Seeker. Nice. We'll just have to skip our turn here since we're sleeping. Still sleeping. He's in a coma. All right, there's the Crobat. Another thirty. Another thirty to him. That's unfortunate. We wake up. Beautiful. All right. Let's see, he's at 100. But he's only got two cards in his hand. I kind of want to lock him down here. I think I'm going to throw these away in favor of doing Chaos Wheel. So I'm going to retreat so the poison stops. We can always get those grass back through Mega Turbos. We're going to go ahead and throw on this one so we can do the attack. And so next turn, he doesn't do nothing crazy. We're going to go ahead and play Hex Maniac here. Let's go ahead and tackle Chaos Wheel. Awesome, Lando's dead, we get two prizes. I know by attacking with Chaos Wheel, your opponent can't play any Pokemon tools, special energies, or stadium cards from his or her hand. So he can't play like, you know, double colorless or mystery if he has them in his deck. Let's see what he does. Lysander, okay. He's stolen for time here. We got a switch though. He's trying to take out that Skepta. That's dirty. So let's go ahead and switch out. Let's hit him with the Giratina again to block that attack. I'm gonna go ahead and start building on to perhaps this Skepta. We're gonna leave our hand the way it is because we have switch in case he does that again with VS Seeker or Flysander. But he decided to quit out. Five coins on the wheel. Message to Pokemon TCG Online. Please give us better prizes on the wheel. The five coins just ain't doing it. <laughs> Got a little bit of my daily challenge done. And that's basically like how the deck works. We uh, explained Giratina there. We explained the Mega Skeptile. So it's a pretty good match we had there to explain everything. But if you guys like the deck tutorial, you guys like the match, man, please leave a comment, like the video. And I'll see you guys next time in my other videos.
Peace. Hey everyone, also be sure to follow all my other social media accounts along with subscribing to my YouTube. Follow the official Outcast Pokemon forums by clicking on our website icon or by visiting www.outcast.com. Follow my Twitter account to be kept up to date on all things new with my YouTube, Twitch, and Pokemon news in general. And lastly, be sure to follow my Twitch account where I do live streams of Pokemon TCG Online Monday through Friday. Thanks everyone and I'll catch you on my next video. Toodles.